After a private sitting lasting over four hours, civil society and human rights group leaders appeared satisfied with their discussions with Immigration and Citizen Service peers Julius Bitok. Karibu, uh, Mr. Irunga. The government, through Bitok, announced its commitment to head to the demands raised by the civil society groups. But uh, this time around, we are saying we are not going to go alone as government. We want all the stakeholders, all the partners, including the civil society, including the religious groups, including the private sector. We are saying we, are, we all have to come together. The government has also pledged to engage stakeholders and raise public awareness about the introduction of digital IDs and a unique personal identifier. One of the challenges we have generally in this country is trust and making sure that Kenyans are comfortable, they understand, they are aware of the implications and the opportunities of becoming digital citizens is extremely important. Otherwise, we can design a system that Kenyans will not sign up to. The concern over data security and privacy assurance was also taken into account, with the government promising to embark on public awareness campaigns to highlight the importance of the identification system. We are making arrangements towards unveiling this very important uh, document and I'm happy to report that uh, we have agreed with the civil society to work together towards uh, making the processes, making even the document, the final product, even more and more authentic. According to Ambassador Bitok, the IDs will not be mandatory for citizens, but those applying for new IDs, those seeking replacement and those seeking corrections on their current IDs will receive the digital IDs which will facilitate access to various government services. David Kagina, K24 TV.